The Prince of Wales has been in the Midlands today at the country's last working Victorian pottery, which has his Regeneration Trust helped to rescue from closure two years ago. Prince Charles's visit comes on the day when his son Prince Harry said in an interview that he'd kill Taliban fighters. His Royal Highness remained silent on that issue today as he met workers as part of a two-day tour aimed at celebrating UK manufacturers. Callum Watkinson reports. The Prince of Wales is passionate about Stokes Potts. That's why his Regeneration Trust paid £9 million in 2011 for a share in Burslem's Middleport Pottery. The money saved it from closure and 50 highly skilled workers there from redundancy. Today, he came to see how the money is being spent. It was exciting, hearing he was coming here, and I think it's, it's great he's taking an interest. This is the second time I've met him, but this is the first time I've spoke to him, and it was a bit nerve-wracking. Victorian buildings on the point of collapse have been repaired and antique moulding equipment refurbished. And the pottery now runs training programmes in traditional techniques for would-be potters. We can do things for school sessions about the ceramic heritage of the area, things like that. Um, things for local community groups, they can come in and have the tours, do a bit of hands-on activity. Uh, there's all sorts of projects been ongoing with local groups, with the universities, where they're getting involved in doing things. The summer's jubilee spirit made a curtain call this afternoon as the Prince visited a shoe factory in Northampton. The town has been the soul of British shoemaking since the Middle Ages, and this factory has been producing quality footwear since 1879. We're one of five companies in Northampton who um, all specialise in, in high quality shoemaking, make 100% of our shoes in the town. I think he wants to see um, uh, the kind of shoes we make and, 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 and the craftsmanship that goes into it. He's got a genuine interest in, in, the, in, in the British craft shoemaking. And so ended a three-day royal tour to promote the best of British manufacturing. Back in Stoke, a sobering statistic. 2,000 kilns once dominated the skyline here. Today, there are fewer than 30. But thanks to royal patronage, Middleport at least will be turning out its world-famous burley wear for a few more years yet. Callum Watkinson, ITV News, Stoke-on-Trent.